What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and this is Beauty and the Sneaks. So today I am doing something a little bit more different. Instead of actually reviewing sneakers, I am going to be reviewing sneaker cleaner. Um, my main reason for doing this is because I am at home bored during this quarantine, um, this shelter in place, which I think is actually very important. But, but, but we get right into like what shoe I'm actually going to be cleaning. I kind of want to give you a little bit of like backstory and insight um, information on the shoe cleaner that I'll actually be using. Um, so let's just start with that first. And today I will be using the Rejuvenator. Um, this is a sneaker cleaning brand. And honestly, the only reason I found out about them is because actually an Instagram ad popped up on my phone while I was scrolling and I was like, oh, what is this? Cause you know, they, you know the algorithm and they keep track of like what you like and things like that. Um, which I mean, I don't always like, but in this instance I did and I was looking for a shoe cleaner that I can actually use. So let's just get right into the unboxing of the shoe cleaner and everything and all the materials that comes with this kit. Um, yeah, let's just start. So this is like, so here's the inside of the box and this is what it looks like going to get out of this. So I actually got the um, rejuvenator like laundry kit, one that I thought would be most helpful to me with cleaning my shoes and the shoe that I really want to clean that's like extremely dirty um, that I'm kind of embarrassed about. So let's just get right into it. Um, inside the box here, you have, it comes with two shoe trees. There's also Rejuvenator Sneaker Event Sneaker Solution, along with Rejuvenator sneak, a Sneaker Laundry Bag, a medium bristle brush, a stiff bristle brush, and a premium soft bristle, <laughs> bristle, bristle brush. The shoe that I will be cleaning today um, is my Yeezy 350 Boost. They are extremely dirty filthy actually um little backstory the first time that i actually wore these i was in a club um and this guy stepped on them and i was like furious and he was like who wears white shoes to a club like all white shoes to a club and i was hella irritated because like one because he was right and then two because like don't step in my shoes like personal space like he had no awareness whatsoever but he was technically he was right because whatever i was ready to you know I'm just joking. All right, so let's just get right into it. I'm actually gonna prep and prepare to actually clean these shoes. Um, so in the directions for step one, it says adjust the shoe trees to the appropriate size and insert them into the shoe. Um, I'm actually not sure how to adjust these shoe trees. I haven't, I actually haven't used shoe trees in a while. So you squeeze, squeeze these two parts together and they come out of the hole. And this is like the adjuster for like the size. And then you put them in the size on what you think would be the best for your shoes. So I'm gonna actually insert them. So it's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm gonna actually insert them into my shoe here. That seems like an appropriate size. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. And I'm actually putting them on the third hole. Just one, two, three, I'm gonna put them in third row. So I'm gonna squeeze this together again and place it here on the third hole. All right. And insert that into my other easy. Okay, they fit snug. All right. So for this part of the video, I'm actually going to just focus primarily on the shoe. And so I'm going to put the camera directly on the shoe um, so you guys can see all the steps and go from there. All right, so if you haven't noticed, I actually have a few extra materials that are included within the kit. Um, and that is this glass bowl here. Um, it's like Tupperware. And I also have a micro soft fiber towel that I'm gonna utilize that they mentioned that you should also use to wipe off your shoes within the directions. 
Um, I will be using the box that is placed here um, as a reference. Um, and I will also insert a clip so you guys can see the step-by-step -step directions. Um, and so for step one, it says to actually adjust the shoe trees to appropriate size and insert into the shoe. I actually have the shoe trees inserted into the shoe. You guys see me do that already. So for step two, it says add one small square of the advanced sneaker solution to a bowl of approximately six ounces of water. I actually measured out six ounces of water already and it is inside of this bowl here. Um, and so let's just take a few squirts of the sneaker solution that they have. They don't clarify how many squirts, but my shoes are pretty dirty, so I'm gonna put a few. Um, and then it says, step three, dip appropriate brush into solution mixture and shake off excess liquids. So appropriate brush, that's something that we want to actually pay attention to. Please make sure that you use the right brush for the material that is on your shoe. Um, I'm gonna actually use the soft brush because it says use for delicate material, suede, nubuck, mesh, and knits. This is technically a knit type of shoe, and so I will actually be using, going in with the soft brush first, and I am going to dip that, dip it in to the mixture. And so for step four, it mentions scrub shoe with appropriate brush until desired results are reached. All right, so I'm just gonna get right into it and start scrubbing the shoes. I'm gonna move this one out of the way so we can focus just on this one Yeezy here off and I'm just gonna go in and start scrubbing it doesn't give you direction on like how to scrub exactly but I'm just gonna go in and scrub one thing I actually forgot to do you guys um, that I think is really important take out the shoestrings so I'm going to take out my shoestrings Something probably should have did before I started scrubbing, but it's okay. I've actually never unlaced my Yeezys before, so this is weird. that for this shoe. Let's unlace this shoe. I think my ag the aglets are actually too big for the holes in the shoe. Not that I'm actually taking them out. Something I've never realized. Not too big, but it's just a little difficult. I mean, that could be, whatever. All right, sorry for forgetting that step. So now let's just get right back into scrubbing the shoe. So I actually watched a few YouTube tutorials on how to utilize um, the shoe cleaner. And I thought like this shit, I just thought it wasn't gonna work because most of the videos, not that it wasn't gonna work, I just felt like most of the videos weren't true to like the average sneaker wear. Like most people were actually just like stepping in a bunch of mud um, or like dirty water. I don't think anyone who realistically play, I don't think anyone who realistically pays like $220 for a shoe will purposely go and step in a bunch of mud um, and then try to clean them off. Like that is like a waste to me. And so I want to give you guys like a realistic type of review on the shoe cleaner. So now that we're done with step four, let's move on to step five. So now there's two different options here. There's step 5A and there's step 5B. Step 5A says actually wipe down your shoe with the microfiber towel and let the shoes air dry. I'm actually not going to do that because I have the laundry system kit. I'm going to move on to step 5B, which means place shoes and the soles together facing opposite direction and insert into the sneaker laundry bag. All right. So I have my laundry bag here. And it says, facing opposite directions, put the soles together. 
It doesn't necessarily say take out the shoe trees, so I'm not going to do that. I don't know if that's smart, but I'm actually not because I want them to continue to maintain their, their shape. So one shoe is inserted this way and one shoe is going to be inserted this way. This is how I take what they're saying by inserted in opposite directions. So let's just cover the shoes with the bag. All right. All right, and they're in here. And I'm actually gonna just throw in my shoestrings because they aren't clean as well and I want them to be protected in the wash. So I'm just going to wrap them around like this. I guess you could do it in a more neat way, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna throw them in, in here. And then I'm going to close up the bag, seal it tight. Okay. And then it says move on to step 6B. Add one ounce of the shoe rejuvenator sneaker laundry detergent and machine wash in cold water. Um, so I actually don't have the laundry detergent and it didn't come with that for whatever reason. Um, but I do have, again, the sneaker solution. And on the back of the sneaker solution, it says to enter sneakers into the laundry bag and wash in cold water. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's just go on to the next step. All right, guys, so I've actually already inserted the shoes inside of the laundry and I've set my settings to delicate and cold water. Um, it's gonna be like a quick wash, so which is only like 36 minutes. And then let's press start and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, guys, so I've actually done steps one through six B um, and six B was actually putting the shoes and the laundry um, or in the washer basically. Um, so let's move on to step seven, which says promptly remove shoes from bag and allow to air dry and please do not put shoes in the dryer. All right, so here we are, the shoes are done washing and I'm just gonna take them out of the bag. Let's see what they look like. All right. Off. This is the first look straight out of the laundry bag. And I'm actually going to insert the shoestrings back in and I'll do a closer look. So now that you guys have actually seen the shoes straight out of the wash, I want to give you guys my final reviews on the rejuvenator and let you know my final thoughts. I would rate the shoe cleaner like an eight out of 10. I do actually recommend this shoe cleaner. I am pretty satisfied. My shoes are really like dirty and I feel confident in wearing them and I just can't wait. All right, so please comment down below any tips and tricks that you all have about cleaning your shoes or if you use a specific brand, I would love to know and I would love to try them out. Um, please like, comment and subscribe again and thanks for watching. See you all soon.